Hi everyone, my name is Victoria Smith and today I'm going to show you how to use our recycling slab and I'm going to show you how to recycle clay. Um, so the first thing is you're going to need a few things. You're going to need our recycling slab. Um, what I usually do is I use one side for red clay and you can flip the other side over and you can use the other for white clay. Today we're going to be demoing using red clay so I'm going to leave it on the other side for now. So when you are going to recycle clay, uh, you're going to need two separate buckets. You'll need one bucket for your dry clay and one bucket for your wet clay. Um, when you are slaking down your material, you want to have some. You want to have your your clay completely dry. Um, so even if you need to dry it out on a surface first, that would be great. Just make sure it's really dry before you put it into the bucket. It works better when you break your clay up into little pieces. Um, I like to break it up into pretty small, even pieces so that when you do break the clay down, it breaks down pretty evenly. Um, the clay that's in this bucket is pretty broken down. So once you have your clay nice and dry and ready to go, um, you're going to take a bucket of water and you're just going to pour the water over top of the clay. You want to make sure it completely covers it. Um, I'll want to add a little bit more water in here so that it fills the entire bucket. Completely covers the clay and you'll start to hear like a sizzling sound. That means the clay is starting to break down. So you want to let it sit in there. Um, you want to let the clay sit in there probably overnight. Um, and once it's all ready to go, um, the clay will look something like this. So as you can see, it's like a big slushy in here. It's just a big slushy of clay. Sometimes when you add a little bit too much water, there will be a layer of water over the top. That's okay. You just want to reach down into the water and grab out the slush. So once you have the slush, you're going to take it over to our ceramic slab, our ceramic shop recycling slab, and you're just going to smooth it out on top. I want to make sure there aren't any hard chunks in here. The clay is going to be lumpy. It's okay if it's lumpy. It doesn't matter. Um, you just don't want there to be any clay that's in there that's not saturated with water. You want it to be completely wet. I like to spread it out pretty evenly over the slab. Make sure that you get a nice even layer. After you've covered your slab with the wet clay, um, you're going to want to let it sit for a while. And depending on how thick your layer of clay is, you want to let it sit from anywhere to like 6 to 8 to even sometimes 24 hours if you have a really, really thick slab of clay. Sometimes what I'll do is put the clay on top, I'll peel it up and flip it over so that it evens it out. Um, so this clay is still not ready to go. If I'm going to sit it out for a while and I don't have time to come back to it, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just cover it, sort of tent it a little bit with just a light layer of plastic and that'll keep the, dry, the top from drying out. Um, sometimes you have to do that if you're planning on leaving it out a little bit longer than normal. Um, when the clay's ready to come up, you'll know because you'll be able to actually peel it up and it won't stick. Okay, if it's still sticking to the slab, then it's not ready to go. Um, you want to leave it on longer until you can peel it up and it's clean. Now, once you have you know, a nice chunk of clay that's ready to be recycled, you're going to want to either pug it in a pug mill or you're going to want to wedge it. And that's how you recycle clay. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time on the Ceramic Shop Demos.